Tony D and Little Jones asleep on the couch, and this is a screenwriter's rant for Pretty Problems from IFC Films about a group of people with too much money who are miserable. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's The Pineys, books 1 through 10. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. I am at Berlin, depending on when you watch this. Berlin River City Comics. Berlin, New Jersey. River City Comics from 12 to about 3.30 today. Get there early to, for the signing in Berlin. And then at 5.30, I should be at Montclair Brewing. From 5.30 to about 8 uh, for the big brew and book thing there. It's going to be a crazy day, so come on out. I, I recorded these a little earlier so I'd have some some videos up and I'll be doing uh, more videos later but um, this is uh, it's not a bad concept so this woman here and her husband I guess invite this couple to their house and they're like kind of rich and bored and miserable and I guess they got a vineyard too so they come up to the house for the weekend and uh, the husband is more normal doesn't really care about doing this kind of stuff but the wife is really into it because it feels like more high society so there's gift bags and wine and all kinds of yoga and massages they got all this crazy stuff going on but the wife of the rich dude is like she's got a very short attention span like insanely short and uh it's meant to be a comedy and like the husband's not too into it. Uh, I don't, he, he immediately pegs the house as a murder house. He's like, where, yeah, where people get murdered or they do some strange sex stuff. I don't think that happens. I think it's meant to be a comedy. Although I gotta say, there wasn't really any laugh out loud funny moments in it. I mean, they're all kind of doing annoying things that could be funny. And there are two blonde girls that I'm now realizing that I'm confusing. Like this woman and this woman in the background. I'm kind of confusing the two. But it's kind of about this woman of the couple wanting to be in sort of high society and then discovering it's it's not that great. And then I guess the bartender is like an ex-boyfriend or some some man she slept with previously. And then... The husband's just miserable because this is happening. And then here, like, the hot chick drops her towel and and then says, Oh, okay, I'm bored. <laughs> like, to the guy, like, at first you think they're going to have sex. And then it's like she just walks away. Then they have, like, a murder mystery that they're supposed to figure out. But by that point, the husband gets mad and ends up, ends up punching a dude. Because, like, he doesn't really want to participate. Um... And then, I don't know, there's this weird, I guess she's a yoga instructor. So it's meant to be funny. It feels like hipster funny. This was almost, almost made me laugh. So she's playing a guitar poorly and then says, this is John Mayer's guitar. Let's smash it. It's like, and she's like, John Mayer's guitar. Yeah, well, he left it here. And then she smashes the guitar. I don't know, that didn't resonate. I know who John Mayer is, but... Is his guitar that valuable? I, I don't think so. So, directed by, who was this directed by? Let's see. See, here she is smashing the guitar. She's kind of drunk. I mean, there's drunk hijinks, which is kind of fun. Um, let's see. Written by Michael Tennant, directed by Kirstin Pantera. Story by Britt. Uh, Rent Schiller and Michael Tennant and Charlin Ubbin. Uh, and some of the stars of the movie. Okay, so the cast Britt uh, Rent Schiller, Michael Tennant are in the cast and they came up with the story. Charlotte in there? Yep, Charlotte's in there too. Um, and then uh, I guess the three of them came up with the story and then Brit, uh, or the Michael wrote the screen screenplay, and he's also in it. And 
Kestrin Pantera directed. Now, is she in the cast? No. Um, Alex Klein is also in the cast, and J.J. Nolan. I don't know any of these actors, but that's cool. I, I like it when actors have a vested interest. But I don't think uh, any of these guys have a lot of skills in this area. It doesn't seem all that funny. I mean, I'm not, you know, some of it seems to be a little funny. The husband is really the comic foil, I guess. The girls are hot. I'll give it that. They're trying to be funny. It's, it's not really coming across. I think it's partly because of the music they played underneath this trailer. It's a little too... Yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work for a comedy. Um, it works more for... It feels like club music, and it doesn't quite work. Um, I would give this movie a chance, because I do like the premise. Pretty problems, rich people, they're spoiled and annoying and they they just waste money and time and they they don't have any common sense so you could do some crazy stuff with that the actors could do some cool stuff with that i guess probably the weakness in this seems to be coming from the couple i'm not really connecting with them the way i should i think like, I think I needed a couple of lines from the regular couple to be like, yeah, you know, I'm just a, I'm just a gym teacher. I don't fit in with these people. Something like that, you know. I, I'm just a, an office worker. These people, you know, one's a lawyer and he's got millions of dollars and the other's a doctor, I, you know. Like, the idea is, to me, I think, would sell it sort of, it's almost like a little bit of a class struggle kind of element going on there. Like, these people are really rich, and they're just stupid and bored, and they invite people up to their crazy mansions for the weekend because, oh, that's, that's hopefully it'll give us some laughs. <laughs> and then they just completely abuse the people and, like, expect way too much. And then when you say, hey, I'm a human being, like, don't treat me that way, they just say, okay, I'm bored with you, get the hell out. Um, which they kind of are that way. There are, are rich people who do that. I've met a, a handful of them over the years. Um, so, but it also feels like maybe these guys are like an acting troupe of some kind. So that could be good if they've all worked together before. And it feels like they probably did. I'll say this. The actors feel like they're couples. They definitely feel like they're couples. I guess it's because they're kind of annoying that I'm not really they're not annoying enough i guess to be funny they're just annoying <laughs> you know um and the girls are very hot i'll say that the girls are very hot especially the blonde she is smoking um so maybe maybe this could work uh i guess here they're trying to solve the mystery they're trying to play the party game I'd give it a chance. First act, uh, they meet these people. It looks like in a karaoke bar. And they're all drunk. And they're kind of having a good time. But then the one of the women invite them up for the week. Oh, you ought to come up to the weekend. To our house in the middle of nowhere. So they say, oh, okay. And they go. But quickly, it's like, it's a little much, right? Uh, it's a little too much. They got too much money. He immediately senses it, but the wife wants to sort of, you know, suss it out. And then there's only two other couples. They were expecting more. They're giving them gifts and everything else. And uh, it's a little weird. They're they're oddball. But they're not, like, going to kill him or anything like that. Um, which I kind of was almost half expecting. <laughs> But no, it's, it's going to be like a, a more grounded comedy. Uh, the, the hot blonde is really spoiled. I guess she runs into an old boyfriend who's the bartender. And that's going to complex things. Uh, uh, make things more complex. And, uh, you know, they're just struggling through the weekend. 
but they get increasingly annoying. I mean, they keep saying it's wickedly funny. <clears throat> it looks like it should be funny, but I'm not laughing. So, I don't know. Maybe I got to see it. Maybe I have to see some of the bits in context. It looks like it has potential, but... I mean, this is kind of funny, I guess. You know. I, I don't know. I don't know. If I had a IFC, I'd probably check it out. To me, this is the kind of movie I'd be like, okay, I'll watch it. And if I got, you know, an hour into it and I hadn't laughed, I'd be like, I can't watch the rest of this. Although by that time, I might be like, well, there's only a half hour left. If this thing was more than a 90 minutes, I'd be out. I don't even think I'd watch it. So, yeah, the first act, they get invited. The second act, they're up at the house and they get increasingly weird and annoying. And then the third act, uh, for comedy, see, this feels like a low-budget comedy, so I guess the ending's going to be they get into a big fight and end up storming out of the place. Uh, you know, the husband punches somebody and it, it's kind of a bad night and then they're going to leave and there, there's like a serious moment and then it's kind of a fallout from that and in the end they just end up leaving and um, that's about it, really. It's not much you can do. Like, everybody has like an awkward moment and they all leave and maybe it's like the, the rich people are going to find some other couple to invite up and they're going to repeat the same patterns and the regular couple just goes back to their life. Or maybe somebody in this movie kind of realizes something about themselves and then maybe something changes. I don't know. I don't think anybody gets killed or anything, so it's it's going to have to be really funny for me to watch this thing. And you're not selling me in the trailer. Not to, where's the comedy? It looks like you have the elements of comedy. It looks like you took all the elements of comedy, like like somebody gathered a whole bunch of comedy props in the room, like a rubber chicken and a horn and a and a pie, and the characters are just in the room with them, but they're not doing anything with them, but they're there, and you're like, something's going to happen. And then, yeah, you don't show any of that in the trailer. So... Like, I think a, a character-driven piece like this, number one, I needed the names. Because that would have personalized it for me, right? You know, like, again, this is a real easy cut. Like, you have the name of the character, Karen. And then a line that only Karen would say. Frank. And then a line only Frank would say. And you just go through all the characters like that. They're trapped in a weekend from hell. Like, you can have that in a trailer. It explains it. That's what the whole purpose of the trailer. Or, I mean, it doesn't have to be, in a weekend from hell. It could be like, in a weekend from hell. Like, just a straight up, tell me what the hell this movie's about. They're rich. They're not. I get it. Then I totally get it. That's going to be the tension and the dynamic. And people would be down for that. If you're going to be clever and coy... I don't know who these people are. I, I don't know. I guess they're rich. I can't relate to any of the things they're doing. Can, can I, Am I the crazy one here? Do you relate to this? Do you say, oh yeah, that's what I do on the weekends. I, I go out to a vineyard and drink wine and get a gift bag and do all this stuff. Like, is this, is this resonating with anybody? I, I don't think it is. I don't think a lot of people... They might do some of these things, but you got to really kind of sell the part that's the common denominator to make comedy work. Because you're not selling this thing overseas. Do you think people in third world countries could relate to this? Absolutely not. No. Only in the United States, maybe parts of Europe, are they going to go, oh yeah, I just did a weekend with a rich, 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 rich couple. So... Yeah, I, I don't know. I'd, I'd check it out, but I'm a little wary that it's going to be any... That it's not. I'm, I'm wary that it's going to be funny. It's going to be like setups for funny that go nowhere. So, anyhow, that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan, asleep on the couch. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble later for our more base takes. I'm at either 
River City Comics in Berlin, New Jersey from 12 to 3.30ish. Or I'm at the Montclair Brewery from 5.30 to 8 today on Saturday. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow for the live stream.